welcome back to my channel or hey I'm Ellen if you're new here today we are thrifting for clothes I would have worn in primary school kind of bit weird let's not put it like that today I'm thrifting early 2000s slash uh, Y2K I think is what the cool kids are calling it fashion because basically I have recently got very into Depop and with Depop comes the Depop celebrity so I have found a girl called Bella who is I think she's called internet girl or I girl and I've been watching her videos and she does like uh, Y2K noughties 90s inspired like fashion bundles and it's given me real vibes to go and thrift it for myself um, because I am like loving that early 2000s style is back because I just think it is so cute and fun um, and while it's back I'm gonna go try and thrift some fun uh, finds I have been killing it in the charity shops recently so I feel like now is my time to fix my inspiration then find my inspiration so let's see how this goes um, and see what we can find in the charity shops now just haul it for you guys at the end so probably the next clip will be me talking a little bit more about the noughties so basically what I've been thinking um, is 90s style I've basically made some notes of like what the kind of things I'm looking for are um, this setup's kind of a vibe isn't it hmm is this where I film now maybe um but basically i'm looking for um certain 90s styles sorry it's really loud outside but it's 34 degrees right now so i'm not shutting the window i'm sorry um so basically i've made little notes on my phone called y2k style and i basically put notes on no it's not gonna want to focus get rid of my face can you focus now yeah so, um, <laughs> my face is back. Um, so, yeah, I made some little notes on what I think it is. But basically, I made a Pinterest board, so I will link my Pinterest board down below and also my Depop if you'd like to shop my style um, or shop anything I'm, um, I've bought recently that um, I'm getting rid of. Anything I'm getting rid of, anything I bought recently that I didn't love as much once I bought it at home because obviously you can't try on at the moment. Um, so that's all on my Depop. I'll link my Depop down below. Um, but yeah, I'm going to post, post some pictures and some Pinterest board inspo here. I basically just typed in Y2K style. But basically, the vibe is like Paris and Nicole in The Simple Life, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Clueless is 90s isn't it not y2k but i like that aesthetic spice girls early destiny's child you get my vibe but what we are like specifically looking for today is low-rise jeans because they were very popular in the 90s it was like the 90s cleavage was just kind of like those v lines on like skinny gals that were like pulling the heroin chic look um i I haven't worn a pair of low, what, ro, low rise jeans in as long as I can remember but I'm going to try and find a pair today and style those up because I might make a video on how I style low rise jeans because I at the moment have no clue how I, was, how I would style low rise jeans but first we need to find a pair. Oh also the other disadvantage we have is I'm kind of size 14, 16 which I guess I want to kind of make a whole video on just like 15 in general as like a mid size plus size kind of gal um, is obviously not as easy as when you're like straight size obviously i'm not i'm not like super plus size i am definitely on the more like mid-size range um but obviously thrifting is still more difficult i also want to make a video about thrifting and sustain uh sorry thrifting and sustainability in general and the, like the privilege that it is to be able to kind of shop and think in that mentality i want to make a whole video on that so let me know what your vibes are with that um so my second uh, thing I want to look for is like baby doll kind of lingerie style stuff. So I've noticed a lot of the American girls go to the um, the like lingerie section and find like real cute like baby doll uh, underwear as outerwear kind of vibes, um, which I have actually always been here for. I love that look. Um, another one is plaid skirts. There were obviously a lot of plaid skirts at this time. Um, and I'm thinking that might be something we can either try and find, like plaid tennis skirts, plaid skirts in general, but we can kind of like 
like maybe if there's like midi ones that are more old fashioned looking go for like a little bit of a thrift flip on those then we've got graphic tees and baby tees so a little like you know cropped tees that say kind of something cute and weird on it or just graphic tees in general is another big vibe um a vibe which i pull all the time is the mini bag so i think that might be quite an easy one to hit i would love to get some mini bags i just love a mini bag most impractical impractical unpractical what's the word most unpractical thing ever but like so cute and i love not having a big bag but um i also have way too much stuff in the mini bag so sometimes they look a bit poof. um and then my last one is like athleisure so like think like sporty spice vibes or also like the juicy velour tracksuits so i also want to go for like that daimonte trend as well that's a big vibe um but yeah so that is the 90s, not the 90s, the noughties and Y2K style explained um, and kind of what my inspiration is for what we are going to be thrifting today and let's get into the thrift shall we? jeans could you get anything more 90s but size 12 they're not gonna fit me so leave them for another lucky person even stress to you how hot it is oh, is that an okay angle <sighs> they're like two bluetooth speakers in the background <sighs> i feel like my energy feels a lot lower now than it did, it did when i first started filming this video but it is hot out there so apologies for my little sweaty face um london's doing the i assume the whole of the uk is doing this actually the eat out to help out scheme at the moment so i went to pret and i know i meant to eat in so i ate half my sandwich in but then didn't want the, want the rest of it i got a sandwich a wrap popcorn oat milk latte yoga bunny all for three pound fifty that's so good um I would have paid full price. I mean, I was going to go into prep anyway, but so good. Anyway, so I've just got back from the charity shops. I tried to film a little bit while we were there. Um, I picked up a few bits, um, but really what I found was there just wasn't very much stuff that really fitted what I, the aesthetic I was looking for, that I liked. I didn't want to just buy stuff for the point of like making this video. I wanted it to be stuff I really like liked and thought I would wear. Um, and use and if it doesn't fit me i thought would sell on depop basically i'm still so sorry about the noise outside um but yeah so i'm gonna show you what i picked up i think i say it wasn't that successful i think i made about two outfits if they fit me um so i'm yeah excited to see how they look it, two outfits including accessories and i think i spent about 15 pounds um so that is the beauty of thrifting if you don't do it i spend 15 pounds on all this stuff i'm about to show you so yeah two outfits uh, with my in keeping with my theme i feel um they're my favorite ever in the world charity shop um which is at the end of my road had a whole bunch of mulberry handbags in it which was um ooh, was there a little pin in this oh, was someone's safety pinned it interesting um which was pretty cool i don't know if they were real they were selling them for I'm gonna knock on the door. Uh, selling them for pretty good prices, so I'm not sure if they were real. And I had a little look in them, and I just, I had no idea. Basically, uh, they didn't look real, but you can never really tell. So, 
I'm actually gonna just stop rambling and show you what I got now. So I'm gonna start like do like outfit by outfit, I think. So I did pick up a pair of low-waisted jeans. They're from it looks like it says Sasper Villain. Sasparilla. Sasparilla? I'm gonna look it up. But they're a size 14, so who knows if we'll get into them. And they look like they're low waist, low rise. Um, and they've got this really kind of cool, which also felt very early 2000s for me. Like this almost like pinstripe look to them. Um, I'm actually really excited to try these on and see how they fit. So they were originally 6 99 but they had them reduced to £2. Um, and they've got this like bell bottomy flare bit as well, which like, really reminds me of the 90s. Um, not 90 really reminds me of the early 2000s um so yeah i'm very excited to try these on and i thought they'd look cute with like a little baby doll tee but we didn't really find any of those I do have some i could kind of pair it with the outfit in my uh wardrobe but i did pick up this little top from top shop as well uh, it's not top shop it's h&m but it was brand new with tags um for 1.99 and it's literally just like a large kind of cropped yellow tee i don't really feel like this totally fits with the theme maybe it's a little bit baby dolly but i thought it would go really nicely with these jeans and i just liked it for my normal life anyway um and for the accessory for this outfit i got this insanely cute I don't know when I'm going to use this or if it's going to be a, something that goes on my Depop. Um, I'm going to try and use it before I sell it though. This insanely cute teddy bear backpack. Why is that the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life? I am. I'm definitely going to try and give this a use before I just chuck it on Depop because I think it is so cute. I don't know what brand it is or anything. It came with some weird little, looks like someone was the stickers. I don't know what, what is it? jade soft toys don't know but basically it's super cute it was only 1.99 um so can't go too wrong so cute i'm gonna um i'm gonna put that outfit on for you now and see what you guys think of it i really hope the jeans fit we can work through that issue together the jeans and the tee let me back up a bit it's got to put it on the teddy bag don't i um yeah so i am kind of vibing this aesthetic the jeans are a little tight around like here um but they actually are really flattering on the leg i'm gonna try and see if i can put you somewhere that you'll be able to see this a bit better um but yeah they're actually yeah, really flattering on my legs i'm definitely gonna keep them um and this t-shirt is just really cute teddy bear backpack and yeah i am actually a massive fan. I really want to, the jeans are a little long, but I really want to show you like the bottom because I genuinely just feel like a brat doll. Like, why is that so cool? I'm trying to think where I can put you to show you this a bit better. But I, this is a vibe. I am really into it. Is that gonna, if I sit you there? And back up a little? No, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but oh my gosh, super cute. And that's what I kind of love about doing these videos is that I never in a million years would have picked up these jeans. Never. And they're actually way more flattering than the jeans that like are in style now, like the wide leg ones. Like, I'm obsessed. How great my butt looks. Can we just, you can tell she's been squatting. Next outfit. <laughs> Second outfit is uh, this. It's just, I think it's just from Primark. It's just like a, a baby doll slip dress. This is a size 14, so I'm not sure if it's gonna fit me, but it is their like lingerie section one. So this was $1.99, it's off $2.99, $2.99. Um, and yeah, just like a little baby doll slip dress. But this was like, in a lot of the pictures I had, this was a lot like what a lot of the things they were wearing. And it's got this like polka dotty uh, bit at the bottom. Um, so I'm gonna give this a try as the like uh, underwear is outerwear vibe and pair it with this gorgeous little bag you would have seen in the previous bit. It's this gorgeous, this gives me real naughties vibes. This, I think I even had something like this in the naughties. Like it is just so cute. Uh, yeah, a little like sparkle bag with this like, um, 
a beaded chain. Um, I absolutely love this. I think it is adorable. This will definitely be being kept um, for like nights out and like Christmas vibes and a lot of nights out at the moment, but you know what I mean. Um, and then I got these shoes. They're from the brand Loft and they gave me like strong Carrie Bradshaw vibes. So they are basically like a little like mule with this cute little heel. Um, and yeah, I, I actually wasn't 100% sure about them and then I tried them on and I was like, well, I feel like I need to take them now. Um, so they were only 5 99 They were the most expensive thing I picked up, I think. But they are so cute. But they do just give me like true, true Carrie Bradshaw vibe. Second look, actually kind of a vibe as well. Let me back up a little. We need a different bra, but like, cute. I don't think you can see the shoes. But it's cute. The shoes probably don't really work on carpet, but we like it. And yeah, that's everything I picked up, guys. I'm gonna, hopefully I've shown you both outfits. I really hope you enjoyed this video style. I am so sorry about the kind of lack of energy towards the end of the video. I'm just really hot, I won't lie to you. Um, but I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like this video style. If there's any other trends you want me to try thrifting, then do let me know because I really, really enjoyed making this video. Um, another point I kind of want to make about the Naughties trend is I don't actually think it's that size inclusive. I think it is quite a hard trend to style if you are mid or plus size it works really well on the smaller sizes but it is harder as you go up um but i would yeah i would like to try styling other trends so do let me know if there is any particular trend you want to see me do um obviously i'm starting with this one because i'm really loving this style at the moment um but i'm open to ideas and yeah if you enjoyed the video guys please hit that subscribe button smash a like on the video to let me know when you enjoyed it uh just leave me a comment anyway even if you don't have any ideas and i'll see you in my next one bye guys